Many of our most serious conflicts are conflicts within ourselves. Those who suppose their judgments are always consistent are unreflective or dogmatic. A just society is a society that if you knew everything about it, you'd be willing to enter it in a random place. The fairest rules are those to which everyone would agree if they did not know how much power they would have. The natural distribution is neither just nor unjust, nor is it unjust that persons are born into society at some particular position. These are simply natural facts. What is just and unjust is the way that institutions deal with these facts. In all sectors of society there should be roughly equal prospects of culture and achievement for everyone similarly motivated and endowed. The expectations of those with the same abilities and aspirations should not be affected by their social class. Justice as fairness provides what we want. No one deserves his greater natural capacity nor merits a more favorable starting place in society. The bad man desires arbitrary power. What moves the evil man is the love of injustice. An injustice is tolerable only when it is necessary to avoid an even greater injustice. The naturally advantaged are not to gain merely because they are more gifted, but only to cover the costs of training and education and for using their endowments in ways that help the less fortunate as well. Justice is happiness according to virtue. Ideally citizens are to think of themselves as if they were legislators and ask themselves what statutes, supported by what reasons satisfying the criterion of reciprocity, they would think is most reasonable to enact.